Oh yeah, bring the heat! Hey, Iron, you missed one. You're losing your touch. Great work, team. Let's get out of here. Took you guys long enough. There were some slight delays. I'll bet. Come on. Oni called us in. They've got a job for us to do. Welcome back, team. Good job on the surface. Unfortunately, we have another problem for you to take care of. A few days ago, we lost control of an experimental cyborg project. The machines malfunctioned, went berserk, and killed half the lab team. Unfortunately, there is data stored in them, and if the Covenant were to get a hold of it, that could lead to a huge disadvantage in the war. We can't afford to risk any information to the enemy. I don't know, boss. Seemed a bit sketchy. It's up to you, Curtis. I'm with you. Alright. We'll do it. Excellent. Because we are already on our way. Hello and welcome to the Eastern Base. We've been expecting you all. Call me Mike. Have you made the preparations we requested? Of course. If you'll follow me, I'll show you around. Hey. I just received word that the others had made contact with ground forces. We should get ready. Our stop's coming up. Alright. Let's go. Yep, they got the place heavily guarded, all right. Some ground forces, uh, two shade turrets, and a wraith. And that's just the outside. Which means they must have something valuable inside. What do you say we charge in and find out what? No, we have to call in air support. We have to save our strength if we're gonna take that outpost. Are you sure you don't want me down there with you? I won't be able to see much from here. I'm certain. You'd only slow me down. Alright, find the data, wipe it out, and get out of there.
might need some backup. Alright, we're almost done. Finish wiping out the data and get out of there. Saber, you stay out here and keep watch. No problem. Iron, you're coming with me. Looks like no one's home. I doubt they'd have sent all their forces outside. Something doesn't seem right. Come on, the control room should be somewhere around here. Bad. I'll go set the charges. So this is what everyone's so worried about? He doesn't look so tough. If you'd seen it in action, you'd know why. I pulled up the video files from when the two machines escaped, and trust me, they are not to be taken lightly. Alright, charge is set. This place is rigged to blow in 15 minutes. Let's move. Elites, get down! We gotta find a way out of here. I'm open for suggestions. This way. Follow me. Saber, come in. Do you read me? What's up, boss? We came across a few... complications. Our path's blocked and we can't get back to the surface. You're gonna have to find your own way out. Sure thing, Kurt. Over now. Whoa, where'd you come from? Okay, that's starting to get old. So. Hmm. I think I'll keep this.
Hey. Hey, you in there? Come on, wake up. Uh, where am I? Well, it's kind of a long story. Right now I think we should get out of here. There are elites crawling all over the place. Alright, we should be safe here for now, but we can't stay long. I'm Noel, by the way. What's your name? Crow. But how did you find me? Like I said, it's a long story. You see, I was watching you fight those elites. After you fell off the spire, they sent a patrol to retrieve your body and they dragged you down here. That's when I killed the guards and got you out of there. And now what are we supposed to do? How are we going to get out of here? By sneaking aboard a corvette. From there, we can escape to the surface. those tunnels would never end. Looks like another outpost. Let's go check it out. I don't care if I do not have authorization. I need those tanks now. I am sorry, Commander, but there's nothing I can do. Good day, ma'am. Ah. And just what do you want? We're here to help out in the war. I know who you are. You're the scum that stabbed us in the back and killed our soldiers. I don't know why Oni took you back, but I want you both away from my base. Whoa, 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 slow down there, Marie. You can't just throw them out like that. These guys are our guests. Besides, maybe they could be of use to us. They are traitors. I failed to see how they could be of use of anyone. Well, you don't seem to be getting your hands on those vehicles you requested either. And with their records, they'd be worth ten times as much as a scorpion. What do you say we put down the gun and walk it off? They are your responsibility. If they make a single dent in my outpost, I am holding you accountable. Are we clear? Crystal. Good. Sorry about that. She doesn't take too kindly to visitors, and your history doesn't help much either. I'm Felix, by the way. You can call me Brad. Thanks for backing us up. She definitely ain't a fan of us. People have mixed feelings about your squad. Some think you're legends, others, eh, not so much. Me, I'm just glad to get all the help I can. So, what's going on around here? It's complicated. Come on, I'll show you around. How was the jump? Enlightening. So now what? Now, we wait for evac. So, who are you? Why did you save me? You and I are a lot alike, Crow. We both left the UNSC for the same reason. Then why have I never seen you before? Well, you see, my brother and I... We have a tendency of being able to show up in places without being noticed. Almost no one knew who we were but we knew who everyone else was. We were a great team. We could handle whatever the elites threw at us. Until one day, Oni sent us on a suicide mission. The elites had an AA gun in the middle of a canyon. It was all that stood in the way between getting air support in the area. The elites had a strong defensive front, so Slaven had gone around the back.
He was able to get inside, but a general stood through the exit. The only choice he had was to destroy the core, taking the elite with him. Later I met a rebellion group called the WCS. It's made up of soldiers who left the UNSC. We all joined for different reasons, but we all have one goal. To stop Oni, and finish off the elites. You should join us, you and your squad. That's not my decision to make. And over here is the vehicle depot. So tell me, what's the situation here? I noticed the cruiser out there, but it's not doing anything. Well, there's actually quite a good reason for that. If you'll come with me for a minute, I'll show you exactly why. Hey, Carl. How you doing, Jim? Hey, Brad. Why don't you tell our guests here what this generator's for? Oh, well you see, this generator here is projecting a jamming field around this area. It's preventing the cruiser out there from seeing us. We both stay here maintaining the generator, keeping it stable and monitoring it 24-7. If anything were to happen to this generator, this place would be crawling with elites. Hey, do you guys hear something? Saber, it's about time you showed up. Ah, well, you can take it out of my paycheck. Here's the three of us, but what about Crow and Zep? Woohoo! What's up, guys? Zep, where have you been? Where's Crow? Shouldn't he be with you? Sorry, Curtis, but he's been taken by the elites. What? But how? It's a long story. Let's go inside. When Crow went up to the Spire, he encountered a Field Marshal class elite. He was beaten and captured by it. I've been tracking his signal, but it's very weak. It leads to a Corvette up in space. So what do we do now? Yeah, we can't just go up there and save him. On the contrary, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll be back with Crow. Good luck, Curtis. You'll need it. Thanks. Hey, look over there. Is that... a saber? Crow, are you there? Come in. Yes, I'm here on top of the Corvette. Hang on, I'll be right there. I told you they'd come for us. Now we can get out of here. Watch out! Hurry, go! I'll hold them off! What about you? Don't worry. I'll be right behind you, just like I've always been. Hey there. Nice ride. Where'd you get it? It's a rental. Come on, let's get you home. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up. I would have been here sooner, but someone didn't do a very good job of watching my back. Hey, I told you I couldn't see much. Come on, guys, that's enough. Where's Saber? We need to get him over here. Now that we've got the squad together, we can finish our mission. Please don't tell me that's what I think it is. You idiot! You overloaded the system! Whoops. The magnetic field coming from the hammer was too strong. Now there's gonna be elites crawling all over the place! 
Where are all the soldiers? They all left to attack the spire. Oh, this is not good. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, that? It's just a prototype and it hasn't been field tested yet. Hmm. Come on! That's the best you got! Now that's more like it! No worries, Zep. I know what I'm doing. Great work out there, Iron. You cleaned up Saber's mess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my bad. No problem. Hey, Brad. You mind if I keep this jetpack? It's really useful. After that performance? Of course. Thanks, man. What happened to my outpost? Oh, uh, hey, Murray. What are you doing here? I came to get some ordnance, but I see now that we don't have any. I told you they were your responsibility. Look at what they've done. Now, how am I supposed to finish bringing down the spire? Don't worry, we'll take care of it from here. It's the least we can do after all the trouble we've caused. And besides, this is our fight. And don't ever come back. Not this time. <laughs> what would you do without me? I don't plan on finding out. That takes care of the elites. But where's the last machine? Ah! I'll get him. No, wait!
Hey there, Crow. Noel, how did you get here? Took a drop pod. There were plenty to spare on the Corvette. Everyone was fighting when I got here, so I decided I'd just wait it out. Good thing, too. Come on, let's meet up with the others. Drop your weapon. State your name. It's okay, Curtis. He's with me. Is that so? Who are you and why are you here? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Uh, heads up guys, we got three Falcons inbound. Hello, Noel. It's good to see you again. What are you doing here? I'm here to congratulate Curse and his squad for a job well done. You have done exceptionally well on this mission. Unfortunately, you all have been discharged. Ah! No! What are you doing? I am sorry, Cruz, but we cannot afford to have a wild card like you and your squad within our forces. Nothing personal, only business. Now if you'll be so kind as to finish this up for me, Sergeant, I am very busy. Hold your fire, soldiers. Stand down. Felix? What are you doing here? Well, I was a bit worried. Thought you could use some help. No kidding. But what are we supposed to do now? We have nowhere to go. Oh, on the contrary. I believe your pal Crow over there knows exactly where to go. What do you mean by that? What's he talking about, Crow? I'm talking about a rebel group known as the WCS. I thought you worked for Oni. Not exactly. I guess you could call me a spy. I secretly feed information to the WCS about Oni. As of now, the UNSC is completely unaware of their presence. But wait, if we joined them, wouldn't that blow our cover? Nope. As far as Oni knows, everyone here was killed by some elites returning from patrol. You've all been eliminated. Speaking of which... Well then. Sounds like a plan. Count us in. We'll make sure Owen Eyes put to a stop, and our fallen comrades will be avenged. Oni, I have seen through your lies. Soldiers are only tools for you to use. And once done, are easily replaced with new ones. Thousands look to you for guidance, giving to you their allegiance and loyalty. But you do not care. A life lost is of no significance to you, and those who know your ways are forced into the shadows, waiting for their moment to strike. I am Slaven, Lieutenant of the UNSC. Only, I retired from that title years ago. Good evening, Curtis. Evening, sir. Today is your lucky day. You're being assigned another squad member. This is Crow. Salutations. 
It's a pleasure to meet you, Crow. The three of you are scheduled for a sparring match in the Octagon. You should get going. We won't want you to be late. Yes, sir. Right away. So, when did you enlist, Crow? I'd rather not say. Silent type, huh? Don't worry, you'll get used to us. We've been roommates for two years, and we enlisted together. It's no mystery why Curtis and I were paired up, and now that we've got you with us, it looks like we'll be shipping out soon. But enough of that. Let's get focused. We have a match to win. This will be a clean hand-to-hand -hand sparring match. The round will end once all three members of either side submit. Nice work out there, boss. Enough of your sarcasm, Saber. You need to be aware of your surroundings in combat area. And Iron, you can't be so reckless. Come on, Alec, give us a break. Yeah, you can't expect us to be as perfect as you are. You both need to focus on improving your combat skills. If not, you'll end up dead. I can't believe we lost to them. Attention, Attention everyone. everyone. I hope, I hope you have all had a chance, chance to get acquainted, acquainted with, with your new squad mates. mates. I believe it is clear to you all as to who your squad leader is. Alec has proven himself superior to all as the last man standing. Sir, Alec and the rest of the squad have just exited the sparring arena. Shall I prep them for their mission? Yes, go ahead. Also, the two soldiers, Slaven and Noel, Prepare them for their next mission. I have a special task for them. Alright guys, wait here. I'll talk to Mike about giving you guys a place to stay until we can get you to the rebel base. Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, he does work for Oni. Saber's right. He may be our friend. But how can we be sure that we can trust him? Yeah, how do you know he just won't write us out? Guys, guys, come on. Trust me on this. I'm not the only rebel spy working for Oni, you know. Stay here, I'll be back. Hey Curtis, are you sure we can trust these guys? I don't know about you, but I think it's a bit ridiculous to say that there's a rebel base that's been plotting against Oni behind our backs. I second that. It's not possible for all this to be happening without us knowing. Well, we don't have much of a choice, guys. Where do you suggest else we go? There's nowhere to run and hide like we've been doing before. It's better than just trusting our lives to total strangers. How can you expect us to let our lives fall into the hands of someone else's control? You remember what happened to Alec, don't you? No one's forgotten him, Saber. None of us will. But right now, there's nothing else that we can do. You have to trust me. Hey, Slaven. Don't you wish the others were still with us? They were placed in charge of outposts. They'll be of more use to the war where they are now. At least they take some stress off of us. I'd rather work alone. A squad will only prevent me from reaching my fullest combat efficiency. Attention all personnel. Slaven and Oval, report to the sparring arena and prepare for your next assignment. I guess we're up. It would appear that way.
Ah, uh, hello everyone. I hope you've all had a chance to get to know one another. Yeah, you could say that. My my, somebody's jealous. Enough. You have more important matters to take care of than fight with one another. He's right. As much as I enjoy a good argument, we must discuss business first. If you'll look at the screen, you'll see we have discovered an unknown structure that the elites have fortified. After preparing some reconnaissance, we have determined that they are protecting some sort of power core deep within the building. Your objective is to find and terminate the sphere. Pardon my asking, but how do you suppose we destroy it? I doubt standard issued weaponry will be enough to crack it apart. We will be issuing you a disposal laser powered assault weapon. It is still in the testing phase and we are still trying to perfect it. You will only have one shot, so make sure you hit your mark. Sounds simple enough. When will we be departing on this mission? Now. Hey, who says you get to take the laser? I think that would be obvious. I'm the leader. I call the shots. I didn't train for two years to become a squad leader so that I could take orders from you. How can you expect to make orders if you can't even follow them? There's more to being a leader than telling people what to do. I doubt that. You have much to learn, Curtis. I suggest wisening up if you ever hope to be a squad leader. Follow close behind us. I expect they'll have anti-air weaponry waiting for us, so I don't want our Falcons to get too close. Drop off your passengers as soon as you can. Yes. Sir. Seems a bit close. Yes, I'm sure. All right, here we go. If you look through that scope of yours any more often, then you'd be dead. That's why I've got you here, isn't it? No kidding. That takes care of that. Saber, I want you and Iron to stay out of here while the rest of us finish the objective. 
Oh, come on, Alec. Can we get a piece of the action? I need your boat to make sure that we don't get any surprise visitors. Besides, I'd like to have a moment to reacquaint myself with the rest of the squad. I suppose I could wait around and kill time. Have fun in there. Uh, don't worry. We will. Hey, Curtis, what are you doing out here? Oh, I was just thinking. About the WCS? Yeah, I'm just not too sure about this. No matter what we do or where we go, Oni's always right behind us. I know what you mean. Sometimes it feels like we'll never reveal Oni's true identity. The kind of people who would sacrifice their own soldiers. How would you know about that? You're not the only one who's lost a friend on a suicide mission. I used to have a squad just like yours. Brad was one of my squad mates along with Noel. That's how we know each other. Is that so? Don't worry, Curtis. Once we get there tomorrow, it'll all be clear. You'll remember what it felt like to have hope again. Good. Because I ran out a long time ago. Pushing through, no stopping! This is too easy. Something's not right. Well, don't jinx it. We've got a good run going here. Jetpacks. Interesting. Told you not to jinx it. Zep, you two stay out here. Will Curtis and I have a talk? No problem. We'll keep watch.
and that will be our objective on this mission. Are you sure it's a good idea to send just the two of us? An AA gun isn't exactly the easiest target to destroy. I'm confident you and your brother will be able to handle this with the best of ease. Once the cannon is destroyed, we will send in air support. I suppose that's doable. Come on, Noel. Let's go. Sir, the squad you sent to stabilize the core is almost in position. Ah, excellent. Prepare a team to secure the area once they have finished the job. Noel and Slavin will have taken out the anti-air cannon by them. Their lives will have been a worthy sacrifice for what we are about to obtain. Heads up. I got it. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. The heck is that? Uh, that's pretty cool. So. What did you want to talk to me about? I needed to ask why you feel so strongly about being a squad leader. Well, after training two years solely for the purpose of being a leader, I'm sure you can imagine what it feels like to have your lifelong goal taken away from you. I get where you're coming from, Curtis, but you have to realize you're not the only one who knows how to lead a team. You have great potential, but you need to learn your faults. Otherwise, you'll never be able to make the sacrifices necessary of you in the field of the battle. If you can do that, then maybe there will be hope left for you at the end of the tunnel. This looks like the place. There's a power core. When I fire the laser, the energy transferring into the sphere will cause it to overload. And? What does that mean? It means this place is going to explode, taking everything with it. Unless, we close the door. Ah! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Sorry, Curtis. I can't let my squad mates suffer any casualties. No, you can't do this. There has to be another way. Unfortunately not, Curtis. You will take my place as squad leader. Saber and Iron will serve you well. No! Alec, don't!
Alec! Alec, answer me! I don't have much time. <coughs> I want to give you something. You will be a great leader. <coughs> I know you will. Alec? Alec! No! Sir, I'm here to inform you that the power core that we sent a squad to stabilize is almost ready for transportation. Hmm? Oh yes, very well then. Let's keep an eye on that. I'm afraid that's not all, sir. What more could there be? Surely nothing more important than the power core. Unfortunately so. Please, come take a look at the screen. Hmm, I understand. But hoped it would not have come to this but it appears I will have to send in the Alphas. Bring in Corwin. First Lieutenant Corwin, reporting for duty. didn't go as planned. You're telling me. Well, here we are again. In another sticky situation. Be ready when the shield gives out. We're in for some heavy close quarters. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Saber, head inside the building and complete the objective. Gotcha, Curtis. I'll get right on that. And Crow, I need you to get on that overwatch and keep an eye out. Consider it done.
Hey boss, I found what we're looking for. Good. Get ready to set off the plasma and get to a safe distance. Right away, Curtis. I'm already on it. Alrighty here, let's get... Whoops, drop my... Uh... Ah, crap. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, uh, I'm okay. Nice one, Saber. Welcome back, Commander. My take of the mission was a success. Yes, sir, Chief Muller. We've successfully taken out the plasma storage unit in the north. And we've taken out the other one in the south. Excellent. Then it seems we're almost ready to emerge from the shadows. That base was nothing. We could take only now, no sweat. In due time, Iron. We must assure the safety of humanity first before we face those who have done us wrong. Come on, guys. I still say we could take them. Just like old times, eh, Curtis? Yeah, just like old times. So where's Saber? He took a bit of a toll on the mission and got carried away with explosives. Needless to say, it's best he went over to the infirmary. Ha, <laughs> sounds just like him. Enough reminiscing of the good old days. Let's get focused on the next objective. What more is there left to do? We've already taken out the Elite's ammunition supply. They'll eventually run out and leave on their own. That may be the case, but there's still work to be done. You've all done enough for now. Take a break while you can. I'll assign your next mission once everyone's taken a day or two of rest. Besides, just imagine the look at Nakoto's face when he hears that they're all out of plasma. <laughs> I'll bet Sakari's telling him right now. Lord Nakoto, it is to my great discovery to inform you that the humans have destroyed two of our last remaining plasma bags. I see. And how many storage facilities are left? Only enough to supply the vehicles, my lord. Very well then. Prepare the communication systems. I shall have a message to send. Have the warriors bring in their weapons. We must place all ammunition in the reserves until we can re-establish our offensive power. Yes, my lord. Right away. Die. I hope you have enjoyed your repeater, for it seems you will be receiving a replacement. What? No. I shall not allow this. I'm afraid that you may have no choice. Although, from the intel I have retrieved, it appears the humans are preparing to raise arms against one another. This shall give us the opportunity to recover. Is that so? Then the time to take my revenge on that maroon vermin who cost me my lower jaw is coming soon! Well then, I suppose it is time I took another stealthy approach to this situation. Nagori, my brother, I believe we are nearing the end of this war. No! I fear we have only begun.
That was quite impressive. Meh, I've seen better. Although, I do believe he scored high enough to go straight through the field, without extra training. He may just be as good as you and the rest of your squad, Curtis. Well, I wouldn't say that. Either way, you should get down there. You and your squad have their training matches next. I'll call them in as we go. Right. I'll be there in a minute. Hey, Slavin, was it? That was some great work out there. Even with your, uh... Disability? Well, Curtis, might I suggest to you that it is not the physical condition that makes you weak. Sometimes it is the mind. You would be wise not to underestimate your opponents by their physical appearance. Hey, what's your... Those bots seem like they get tougher and tougher each time. Only cause you can't bear without that hammer of yours. Oh uh, yeah? <laughs> Says the guy who got a sniper. Hey, if it's on the field, I can use it. Come on guys, get serious. We've got an assignment to focus on. Yeah, he's right. Besides, we'd be arguing here all day if we don't stop. Especially if it's Saber. How's it going, noobs? Just fine, General Halbert, sir. Glad to hear it. You guys are in for a real treat today. That's right, everyone. Because you guys are going to get to infiltrate an Oni facility. Yeah, it's about time. Hold up a sec. What made you decide to do this now? Actually, this isn't your basic run and gun assignment. It's a stealth operation. Only two squad members. What? Come on! I see. So then, who will be taking part in this stealth run? I don't know. That's up to you, Curtis. Personally, I know who'd I pick, but let's leave it up to him. Hmm. Zap. Yeah, Curtis? I want you and Crow to go on this mission together. Are you sure you don't want to go on this assignment, Curtis? I can see why you'd choose Crow, but I'm not too sure about myself. You two would have the best silent approach to these situations. Crow will sneak in while you watch over him with your sniper rifle. Yeah, cause that went so well the first time. No worries, Zep. I'm sure there won't be any field marshal sneaking up behind me this time around. Not to mention I've gotten stronger since what happened at the Spire two years ago. I don't know guys, this seems awfully risky. It's your call if you want to go. But I trust you more than anyone else on the team to handle this mission. Including myself. Well... All right, Curtis. I'll go. Great to hear. You'll be heading out tomorrow by air to the facility. The coordinates will be set in the Falcon, ready for you both in the morning. Don't screw this one up, guys. For all our sakes. Where is that worthless insect, Sigel? He's been gone for far too long. Those who are patient are dearly rewarded. You must calm yourself, Nagori. For what reason? That worm always does nothing but waste our time. He only wastes my time! Perhaps he does so in order to fulfill his tasks. 
It's not easy living the life of a Spec Ops. Ha! Huh. Perhaps I would agree with you. If not for all they do is hide in the shadows. Then perhaps you'd like to go through the field next. Should Nakoto have not prevented me from it, I would gladly do so. Nonetheless, Nagori. Let us hear what Figo has to report. Yes, let's. You both will be quite pleased to hear this. I believe I have determined the location of the Maroon Demon Nagori despises so very much. What? Where? Where is that vermin? I will rip him to shreds! I shall tear his heart out! Now, now, Nagori, you must control your anger. Do not let the enemies get the best of you. Lord Nakoto, to what do we owe the honor of your presence? You may dispose of the pleasantries, Madai. You three are my best warriors. Although one of you lacks the element of patience. Ah! But that is beside the point. I do believe I overheard Figo speak of the demons. Is this true? Yes, sire. And there is more. Oh, I see. Do go on with your report. Yes, my lord. I have discovered the demons will be raising arms against one another. Two of them will be intruding a data facility in the snow. Hmm. But this changes everything. Figo, you may rest now. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. I am most grateful. Now then, as for you, Madai, I want you to sneak into the area Figel has located and find whatever data you can. What? Why him? Why send this pathetic ranger over me? Because, Nagori, we do not want to create a disturbance in the area. We cannot take part in a great battle until we receive the new shipment of weaponry to replace the depleted plasma reserves. I require no weapon to fight. Only my blade. Even so, we are to maintain a low profile as we recover our forces. Which is why I'm sending my assistant, Sakari, to go along with you, Madai. Yes, sire. We shall not fail. I trust that you will not. Now go. Yes, my lord. Acceptable. Even that worm Sakari is being sent to fight. I shall not stand for this. Such a foolish Sangeli. Slaven. Why do you keep antagonizing everyone? Had I known you'd be this bothersome, I'd have tried to evade you before arriving here. But why? Why are you trying to pick a fight with the others? When I said you should come here to the Rebellion, I didn't mean so that you could cause problems. Even if they did fight against me, they wouldn't have a chance. That's not the point. You're supposed to be here so you could help everyone. Then tell me, no. Why should I help them, if they can't even help themselves? I have no doubt about their abilities, but they know not why it is they wish to fight. They say they fight for justice, but in truth, they fight for revenge. That's not true. Even so, why does it matter to you why they fight? Because, Noel, until they realize this, they will not be able to finish what they started. They are only lying to themselves. Fine then. If that's what you believe, then I won't stop you. Just promise me that everyone will make it out alive. So many of us have died in this war. I can't bear to see another life lost. Can you do that for me, Slaven? Can you make that promise? I wish I could.
Hey, what do you see? Just give me a second. It looks like they've got a light scouting group. I don't think there are very many guards here. Good. That'll make our job pretty simple, then. Yeah, you're right. You should be careful out there. Like Curtis said, we don't want to cause any disturbances. Hey, since when have I ever failed a stealth up? Never, and I'd like to keep it that way. Don't worry. It will. There it is. The data facility. We must keep out of sight. Find the data and leave. As you wish, Sakari. Let's move. Hey, Zep. There are some guards over by the terminal. I need you to create a diversion. Alright, I gotcha. You better hurry, that distraction's not gonna last long. Don't worry, this'll only take a... Hello, demon! <laughs> you cannot run away forever, demon! What are you doing here? That is none of your concern. I need only to stall you until we finish taking what we want. So you're here to steal data too. How ironic. Too bad I can't just let you both walk out of here. I don't believe you have a choice, demon. You cannot stop us. We'll see about that. Hey there, Crow. Thanks for the save. No problem. Let's see what the damage is. It looks like they've copied the data. Just like we were going to. Whatever data was here, looks like the elites got a hold of it. We'll have to take it back to base and get it decoded. I see. Well... That's rather unfortunate, then. Although, if the elites had killed all the soldiers, that means when Oni investigates the area, they mostly find plasma burns rather than our own bullets. 
our presence is still a secret. But the elite still got a hold of the data. True, but still. You both handled the situation very well. You were to be commended. But they still have the info. We failed our mission. Yeah, but considering the low levels of security, I doubt they had anything important at the facility. Probably just some old weapon shipping orders. Don't let it get to you guys. You both did an excellent job. I wouldn't have expected anything more from the two of you. Just take a rest. We'll get to decoding the data, and we'll notify your squad once we're finished. Yes, sir. That'll be all. Dismissed. You incompetent war! Ha! Ah, I should say the same to you, you worthless ingrate. I have nothing to be grateful to you for. You purposely approached the human. You knew he was there at the turn. Calm yourselves, the both of you! What is the reason for this arguing? My lord, I apologize for our conflict and differences. But unfortunately, Madai had given away our presence to the demons. Is that so? Well then, Madai, what do you have to say for your consolation? And speak wisely. Sire, forgive me for my failure. But I assure you, the data we have gained possession of will be more than enough to compensate for this mere loss. Oh really? And what would that be? Something quite interesting. What? I said, the data we've decoded show that the core you were set to stabilize four years ago is almost fully restored. Man, today was just full of surprises for you, wasn't it? It looks like Oni is planning on taking that core and using it to power a structure that we believe to be able to destroy entire cities. Specifically, our cities. So what you're saying is that I helped Oni create a weapon that'll end up killing us all? That's one way of putting it. There's no point in dwelling on the past, Curtis. What we can do now is prepare ourselves for the future. And right now, something is telling me that the time for us to rise from the shadows is now. Alright, Curtis, we've got a little time to waste here. For all we know, Oni might have the power core in their possession at this very moment. I want you and your squad to go back to where it all began. Head to the facility that's been containing the core and retrieve it by any means. Take out anyone you see there. Yes, sir, Chief. I'd be more than happy to do so. Oh, I know you are, Curtis. Also, gonna need you and I to stay here at the base and defend with Slavin. I have a feeling Oni's gonna hit us with everything they've got after we take the core from them. No. I refuse to let my squad anywhere near that excuse of a human being. I'm afraid you don't have an option. We don't have time for these petty grudges. This is war, Curtis. We will do what we must. The humans will be arriving here at sunrise, Nagore. We must ready ourselves and get inside the facility. I shall enter when I wish. I do not follow orders from you. Do as you will, but I shall not have failed this mission because of your behavior. I know what I must do. Make certain that you know as well. Hmm, and so it is.
Would you like to take the turret of my vehicle? Hmm. Be more than happy to take you up on that offer. Now! Hurry, the enemy is already inside. We need to move. I guess we've got some ground to make up. Hey, you! Stop right there! Hey, come back here! Stop right there! Maroon One, we have unfinished business. Is that so? You seem familiar. Have we met before? Why, yes we have. Perhaps the Spire will remind you of our meeting. I see. So that was you then. I guess you're right. We do have unfinished business. I'll take care of this, Curtis. Right. Uh... I guess we're coming too! Oh, I don't think you'll be going anywhere. Continue no further demons. Now you must deal with us. Well, that's just great. I guess the fight begins here. That's far enough. Hello, Curtis. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you back at headquarters. I'd ask you who you work for, but that's more than apparent. Step away from that core, I'll be forced to execute you where you stand. Put the gun down, Curtis. You won't use it. At least not now. Why are you working for Oni? They're just gonna toss you aside once they're done with you. I will serve them until I come to my dying breath. I'm a worthy sacrifice. That means I will protect the universe and humanity from this alien threat. What's the point in fighting for survival if you have no freedom? Why let them use you as a piece in their game? That's not what this is about, Curtis. This is about war. We will do what we must do to win. You're not going to play the game with every available unit, then you're doomed to failure. That's just the way it is. Keep up the fire! The forces are pulling back!
And checkmate. I wouldn't make any sly movements if I were you. Ha. Huh. I have no need to take action. We have already won. What are you talking about? I'm the one with the gun pointed at you. And you think that means you've won? You are more foolish than I thought. What are you getting at? I'm pretty sure you're not in the winning position here. Our objective was not to stop you from taking the core. It was to keep you occupied until our army arrived. What? Bro, we've got to get out of here. What? Hold your fire. Let's not end this so quickly now. You're a little late, Caddis. The head of Oni is already inside. Nothing's over while I'm still breathing. Oh, don't worry. We can fix that. You realize the odds are in our favor, do you not? Are you so sure about that? Do you really think time is on your side? If that is the case, then allow me to correct you. Go, go, go! Get down! Hey, Chief. What do you say we bail on this falcon? Inside. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's hop out. No need to tell me twice. Let's get this started. Eyes over here.
Oh, they're right there. It's far enough. You're too late. The core is already active. The plant will self-destruct and take everything with it. I'll deal with that later. But first, I have to settle my business with you. Is that so? I assume you wish to have a grudge match with me, don't you? You couldn't be more right about that. Words can't express the evil that you've done. I'll take great pleasure in taking you out of this world. Well, if you're looking for an honorable defeat, then why don't we fight this out man to man? No weapons involved. That is, if you can handle it. I'm gonna have to take you up on that challenge. You know, you really are a fool. Your trust in my integrity will be the ultimate cause of your downfall. Chief, no! You never should have made it this far, Curtis. Although at least now you'll be able to witness the end of this conflict. Can you imagine? All of this would not have been possible if it weren't for you. You truly are a hero. <sighs> I suppose that makes me a villain, then. Thanks for the save. I'd have been here sooner, but the second-in-command was more troublesome than I expected. How... how are you alive? You should have died with the rest of your pathetic squad. Maybe you should have done the job yourself instead of always sending people to do it for you. This is the day we avenge every fallen soldier who died by your hand. Well then, if that must be the case, I refuse to die by your hand. If we don't stop that core, the whole planet's gonna blow. Then it appears we will have to make a sacrifice. What do you have in mind? I'm afraid I've reached the end of my rope. It's been an honor serving, Curtis. Likewise. Give my regards to the elites. Who are you? I am death. Surely you are stunned in fear and surprise. You never did see this coming, did you? We elites had waited patiently as you humans fought each other, weakening your own armies. You foolishly left yourself open to our forces, giving us the opportunity to take back this fight. And now, here you stand, silent. What have you say for yourself? Would you like to make a final statement for yourself, human? <laughs> 